Bonjour, Good morning, Daniel. Bonjour, Bridget. Mm -hmm. Ça va? Ça how va? are you? Okay, Yasha, how are you? I'm very well. How yeah, are you, Daniel? Yes, happy birthday, huh? Thank you mm -hmm. very much, Daniel. Yeah, <laughs> <they're very laughs> <tele> hug. <laughs> yeah, cy cyber hug. What cyber hug. We, since we're getting into sight tech, yeah, cyber hug. A cyber oh, birthday exactly. hug. So, so what are we talking about this morning? So on the show today, I'm presenting you a range of gifts. You can choose, uh, you can tell us which one you prefer after I've listed the gifts. All right. Because it's the latest consumer tech. Go ahead. Interesting. Okay. All right. So the Consumer Electronics Show says held in Las Vegas last week kicked off what promises to be an exciting decade in the world of technology. From 5G smartphones, artificial intelligence, Lamborghinis with integrated Alexa and 8K resolution TVs, a first ever sex tech uh, section, the 2020 says gave visitors a chance to test and showcase the newest and shiniest gadgetry. Today, we'll explore some of the most exciting tech that caught our eyes, including robocats, artificial humans, and sex tech. Now, the robotic cat mascot from Chinese company Elephant Robotics aims to become the bionic future of pets. Its clumsy movements as it slept, purred, and hissed endeared it to visitors at the show. Many feedbacks. So some people, they cannot pet a real cat and uh, they, are, uh, they are allergic to real cat or their uh, department are not allowed to pet a real cat. So they can have this and they can pet it when they come home. And uh, so each robotic cat will be, will be different. So some cat will be active and some cat will be very lazy. So avatars uh, touted as uh, artificial humans created a buzz at CES as uh, Star Labs, a startup funded by Samsung, showcased AI-powered two-dimensional digital beings that can appear on displays of video games and could be designed to be TV anchors, spokespeople, movie actors, or even companions and friends. Hi, Monica. What are you? Are you human or what? Hi, I am Neon. I am an artificial human. I'm still learning about how humans talk, behave, and move. I am also learning new languages and expressions. Are there any other Neons at CES? Yes, definitely. Can you try Korean? 안녕하세요. 만나서 반갑습니다. How about Chinese? So Koratri can do what deep fakes or manipulation can do for sure, like long before. If you want to manipulate something, you can manipulate. But Koratri has a 10 times more powerful uh, algorithms that can now not only manipulate, but it can create something completely new. And that is what the focus uh, of the Neon is all about. Now, for the first time, CES opened a section dedicated to sexual wellness, where several startups unveiled devices to use alone as a couple, or even over long distances. Satisfier is on a mission to combat the negative perceptions around the use of sex toys for pleasure, relaxation, education, healing after childbirth, and long distance relationships. The company has plans to launch a smartphone app for controlling sex toys, in particular by using voice commands. Uh, if partner A is in one city and partner B is in another city, uh, and it can be like a man and woman, two men, two women. Uh, they can sync with each other's toys so that uh, partner A can activate partner B's toy and partner B can activate partner A's toy. So they can maintain that physical relationship over the distance. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What consumer tech are you really looking forward to this year and over the next decade? Do let us know on our Facebook and Twitter pages at Africa News, and we'll be more than happy to hear from you. You can also visit our website, www.africanews.com, for more uh, exciting tech stories.